to my 83 month dreadlock update. 83 months of having dreadlocks have now passed. I'm one month away from seven years. What is going on? What is going on with dreadlocks this month? As mentioned in my previous update, I've been going with tea tree lately. I normally heavily prefer lavender, but I fancy to change. So I think I'm sticking with tea tree at the moment in my various sprays and soaks and things of that nature. I traveled a bit this month. I gave my hair a deep clean before I went. I like to deep clean my hair before I travel anywhere. It makes my hair the most cooperative, the easiest to live with that it can be. It makes them fresh and nice and soft and bendy and all that good stuff. It makes them also smell nice. Keep the scent from the soak for a little while. Sometimes a deep clean will give me a bit more loose hair than I possibly had before, or sometimes a little bit more loose hair than I kind of want because of the conditioning properties of the essential oils and the apple cider vinegar rinse and things like that. But I had quite a lot of sea salt in there this time around. I had lots of sea salt to hand from my sea salt spray video and it actually came out quite nice. I do believe that I came out with less loose hair than I went in with due to the sea salt. I had a lot of separating to do because lots of things were kind of uh, knotting up all over the place so I didn't necessarily want them to do but it's better than having a lot more loose hair than I possibly wanted. I do enjoy the sea salt and I do enjoy having it in a soak. I am a fan of the sea salt spray but you do get better results if you have it in a soak because it really gets in and all over the place whereas when you're using a sea salt spray it kind of just hangs on the outside my favorite part about having the sea salt is it kind of gets the loose hairs into a state where I can really just twist them really easy with my finger and they ball up and they become really easy to dread ball so when I'm bored and I'm sat around I'm just like and I can kind of tuck away some loose hairs that are maybe annoying me at that time. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, we are one month away from seven year old dreadlocks. At the end of May, I will have had my dreadlocks for seven years. This is not seven years worth of continuous growth. I have trimmed them many times over the seven years because I did start them in a way that I certainly was not fond of and wanted to remove all evidence of because there was just no way to get them back to how they should have been, as long time viewers will know. And I have since trimmed due to weight issues that I've had with them pulling on my neck. I had neck problems that the dreadlocks made worse. I do believe they would be pretty much waist length by now if I hadn't trimmed, but that would not be all that practical for me. I'm quite happy with where they're at at the moment, but I tend to always say that. I'm always like, I like them at this length. And then a few months later, I like them at this length, this length, this length, this length. I'm not sure when I'm going to trim them again. I was saying I'm going to trim them, but we will see where it goes. Should we do a quick twirl? Twirling, twirling. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. But we can have a look around. Not a lot is going on. They're looking um, how they normally do, as far as I'm aware, but I see them every day. Pretty much all my color has gone from my bleached and dyed red. There's seriously like no purple left in this at all. It's just sort of slightly lighter than my other dreads. I quite like it like this. I was considering re-dyeing it, but uh, lazy. I think it looks quite nice like that, and I don't really enjoy the in-between phase I had to go through. So it looked nice when it was purple, looked okay when it was slightly off purple, then there was that whole pink washing out phase that I didn't like, and I was not in the mood to re-dye it, so I'm quite happy with it in this sort of kind of uh, color that I can get away with quite easily. So that was my 83 month update. I will be back in one month for my seven year dreadlock update. If you would like to be notified for that, if you'd like to check that out when that is up, you can subscribe and then it will be sent to you. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, if it was at all positive in any way, you can click the like button and then I'll know you will like it. You can find all my stuff on lazydreads.com if you're looking for some dreadlock help, some guides, trying to make sense of what order my videos come in. If you're looking for something specific, you can navigate your way through lazydreads.com. If you are a Facebook person, you can come to facebook.com forward slash lazydreads where I will answer your messages and click like on things. And there are giveaways and daily pictures and all that good dreadlock stuff. You should definitely check it out if you are a Facebook folk. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again soon. I hope to see you again next month for my seven year update. Farewell!